You know, they say cleanliness is next to godliness. And if that's the case, then my buddy Bob's car must be sitting right next to Satan. One time, Bob decided to wash his car using a sandpaper sponge and dish soap. Let's just say, his car ended up looking like it had gone 10 rounds with a disgruntled alley cat. So, to save you from making the same mistakes as Bob, here are some wonderfully incorrect steps on how to wash your car. Step 1. Find the harshest, most abrasive material you can lay your hands on. If you're out of sandpaper, a steel wool pad will do. The goal here is to give your car that unique, distressed look that screams, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Step 2. Forget about car washing soap, that's for amateurs. What you want is a good old bottle of dish soap. Bonus points if it's got extra strength grease fighting power. Because as we all know, cars are notorious for being covered in bacon grease. Step 3. Don't even think about using a bucket. Buckets are for the weak. Instead, hose your car down like you're trying to extinguish a four alarm fire. You want to make sure that not a single square inch of your car is left dry. Step 4. Now, remember that dish soap and steel wool pad? It's time to scrub like you're trying to erase your car's existence. Use circular motions, back and forth motions, zigzag motions, even the cha-cha if you're feeling spicy. The more random the pattern, the better. Step 5. Rinse off the soap with the same vigorous enthusiasm you used to apply it. You're not just rinsing a car, you're preparing for a Category 5 hurricane. Make sure your neighbor's cars, houses, and unsuspecting pedestrians get a good rinse too. Step 6. Forget those soft, absorbent towels for drying. Your grandma's old shag rug will do the trick. After all, nothing says clean like a rug that's seen more feet than a podiatrist's office. And there you have it, folks. The best possible worst way to wash your car. Now, in summary, here are the things you should absolutely, positively, without a doubt, never do while washing your car. Don't use sandpaper or steel wool unless you want your car to look like it's been mauled by a bear. Don't use dish soap. Your car is not a plate. Don't hose down your car like it's on fire. Don't scrub your car as if you're trying to erase it from existence. Don't rinse your car like you're in a disaster movie. And finally, don't dry your car with grandma's old shag rug. Trust me, she won't be happy. And remember, these instructions are for comedic purposes only. If you follow them, you may find yourself with a car that resembles a modern art masterpiece and not in a good way. Always wash your car properly, or better yet, take it to a professional. They might not be as entertaining, but they sure do know what they're doing.